Hey, all on YouTube. I'm glad to be with you again. In this video, I'm going to talk through one of the most reliable practices to maintain a sense of calm, regardless of the circumstances. Uh, I know for myself, this past year has been the most turbulent year. I've lost two of the most important relationships of my life. I moved first across the country, uh, and then to another continent. Uh, it's been tumultuous. And, you know, of course, amidst all of the painful, stressful things, there's been a lot of good things, too. I picked up a master's degree, started doing some of the most fulfilling and enjoyable work of my career. But life's going to bring hard things our way. And if we face those hard things from a, a reactive position, or if we let those hard things just crush us, uh, we're going to have a hard time staying adaptive in that case. So anyway, in this video, as I mentioned, we're going to talk through one of the most effective practices to keep your sense of composure, regardless of the circumstances. Now, a bit of backstory on how this practice came to be. Some of you know that I've spent about a, a decade in the embodiment and somatic space, and so I tend to have as a default frame uh, a more body-oriented approach. And when I embarked on getting a doctorate in clinical psychology, what I found in the internship for them was that people would be relaying these truly horrific scenarios, uh, really difficult circumstances that they had found themselves in, that they'd been through in the past. And it occurred to me that I, Chandler, the guy, he doesn't know what to do about that. So someone's been through, you know, an experience of torture or someone has been systematically abused by a caregiver from three to 13. Someone has been uh, raped, assaulted, been in a horrible situation. Whatever the case is, I recognize very quickly, wow, I, the person, I have no idea what to say in response to this. But in those moments, I found that I had a resource available that made me a much more effective therapist. And in those situations, I was able to keep my cool and stay a grounded presence for these people in a way that many had never experienced before. So here's how I did it. In those moments, when I found myself wondering, what am I supposed to do about this? I shifted my attention downward. And I'm going to encourage you to do the same right now. Shift your attention downward to where you notice a connection with a supporting surface underneath it. Now, that could be your feet and the floor. That could be your pelvis and the chair. Whatever the case is, notice the parts of yourself that are most clearly connected to that supporting surface and dwell there for a few moments with your attention. Let yourself really avail yourself of that support. And notice as you do so, how the rest of your physical structure responds. When you deliberately attend to the availability of support in any moment, it changes things, subtly perhaps, but significantly as well. Now, what I would do in those situations, I would connect with that sense of support. And I would say to myself, I, Chandler, have no idea what to do or what to say here. But I know that the earth has seen this before. So I'm going to take whatever this person is telling me. And with this grounded connection, I'm going to take all that and send it down. I am going to send it down to the earth. I'm going to maintain my sense of a grounded base. And I'm going to listen for whatever comes up. And by God, reliably, something would come up. I would think of something to say, or maybe even not to say, but something in the quality of my presence seemed to be of use for folks in those situations. And boy, since that time, I have relied on this practice so much to deal with the turbulence that life, life always seems to be throwing us turbulence, right? So even when I personally don't know what to do 
when circumstances get to be hectic and chaotic, what I recommend is find a sense of the ground, some sense of the supporting surface beneath you. Check in for a moment. Perhaps tell yourself deliberately, the earth has seen this before. I don't know what to do with what's going on right now, but I know the earth has seen this before. And when we have that sense of, of ground support, and when we have a, a sense of trust that even if we personally, in the, the narrow range of our experience, even if we seem to be ill-equipped to deal with the circumstances at hand, the earth has seen this before. And you would not be here if it were not for a whole lot of things going right throughout the entirety of your ancestral lineage, stretching all the way back through all of this evolutionary time, all of that is the literal ground of your being. And finding the concrete awareness of ground support, it connects us to that, that existential ground. And it can resource us in to deal with the difficulties of our circumstances more effectively. So again, I don't know what circumstances you find yourself in now. What I know is that the earth has seen this before. And if you can pause for a few moments and direct your attention down and avail yourself of the support that is always present for you, you're going to find yourself much more equipped to take on this challenge. So a short one today. I hope this blesses you. And I will look forward to speaking with you again very soon.